the equipped expedition outfitters. Today I'm so excited to show you a brand new item that National Luna has come out with. It is a retrofit uh, display upgrade that takes your existing National Luna fridge and turns it into a legacy smart fridge. By changing out the display you gain several things. One, you gain Bluetooth capability. You're able to now change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit and in the dual control models you're able to shut down uh, one uh, either of the uh, zones inside your fridge and just run one zone. Super exciting to show you this. Um, it's for any fridge from 2009 up to current uh, that you can change the, uh, this out on. So there's a couple of things I want to show you here. There's three different displays uh, that we have here. Two of them are for the dual control models and uh, this, this display here is for what we call a four wire connection, has connections on the back here. This is for models from 2009 up to June of 2019. This model here is what we call a two wire model, a two pin model, and this is from 2019 to current. And that, that's the display there. And then finally, for all the guys out there that have the single zone model, this uh, display will change any fridge from 2009 to current uh, to uh, the upgraded model. What they do is, for the older four-pin uh, temperature probes, they give you a new two-pin temperature probe to replace the, uh, the probe in your fridge. Very simple to do. Okay, so now we've got the three different models here. What we're going to do is we're going to change out this unit here, which is one of the newer legacy models. We're going to put the uh, smart display in this unit. Let's take a look at how to do that. Okay, it's a very simple process. Right on the front of uh, the fridge here are four screws. And I, I just start these screws out until I can get hold of them on, with my, my fingers. It's a lot easier to do. Uh, be careful when you take these screws out because there's a little uh, lock washer on the uh, inside of that screw on the threads and you don't want to lose those. So what we'll do is we'll just take, take those screws I'm going to pull it out here and hold it with my finger so I can get hold of this other one. Take these screws out. And uh, on the four pin model, what they're suggesting is that you take off uh, the metal grate around the whole in, uh, exterior here, which is a couple screws on the back side and a few screws on uh, the bottom. Simple process to do, and that gives you better access to the connections on the display. But for the, the newer models, the legacy models, we can do it with, uh, with just removing these four screws. There's the third one. And then we hold this. Now there's a little, uh, little ridge around the, the perimeter of the display that holds this in place for you to to screw back in, and I'll show you how you do that easy enough. We'll grab the screw off the floor. All right, and I, look, I already lost one of the washers. Well, we'll find it. Okay, so the easiest way to do this, for you guys old enough, remember cassette tapes? It's kind of like a cassette tape. You lower it down a little bit, and you pull that display right out, and this gives you access to all of the uh, all of the connections. We've got a couple temperature probes, the light for the interior, uh, this, uh, this is the power and, and the other connections there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to swap it right over to this model here. Now the easiest way that I have found to do this is to actually move one at a time so you know that you're getting your connections in the right place. So I'm going to move the screws over here all right, there's two different connectors here. One is a black connector, one is a white connector. And they have a little uh, clip that holds them in place and they're, the clips are actually backwards on each one of these. So on the black one, if you push, you pinch down a little bit, you can wiggle that off like that. See that little, uh, that little clip? So I'm gonna move that over here, plug it in just like that. The black ones are, are pretty easy. Move over the second probe here. And that plugs right on there. Now the white ones are a little bit different. Their clip is actually a, a part of the uh, of the circuit board. So if you put your fingernail underneath that and lift up a little bit, it allows it to come off quite easily. We slide that back over here, click it on there. Fingernail lift. You don't have to lift very much. It's just a matter of, of keeping it on there. That one goes over here. 
Oop. A little closer. There we go. Now on the black ones, you hold it down on the on the pin itself. Slides off. That goes on here. And again, another white one you lift up with your fingernail just ever so slightly. And it comes off there like that. Okay, so we can take that display, put it aside. And that slips on there. And that is it. That's all there is to it. So now we're going to put it all back in there. Slide it down inside. Come up behind it. And I hold it just the, the, the top of this with my finger just enough to give it some, some tension to give me a chance to put one of those screws in. And once I've got that screw in there, now I've got something to hold on to the, uh, the display with. I can hold on to that, hold it in place, and add the screws. Let's go in here, something like that. Okay, so now I, I just hold it, and you can see that little plastic ridge around the the display. I just hold it there with my my fingers and tighten it into place. Simple enough. You get one started and then the rest fall in pretty darn easy. Just, just snug. They don't have to be super tight. Alright, third one done. And the fourth one to finish up. And that is it. Okay, that's that gets the display in there. Now what we need to do is to program this display to match up with your fridge. And let's go ahead and start that process. Okay, so I'm gonna plug this in. It's gonna give power up here. And while there are eights across there, you need to uh, simultaneously press the down, up, and battery buttons. And that will take you into where you can uh, put in the code for this uh, machine and the, 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 the pin is a serial number that's mounted on a pl uh, plate on the back of the fridge. If it's a five number pin you have to put a zero at the front of it because it's a six number uh, scenario. So this model has a serial number of 94920 so we'll add a zero to it so it'll be 094920. Okay so let's try this. So I'm going to put, plug this in, give it power, and while it's with eights, you push those three, now it's going to come up with a scenario here of all zeros and the one that's flashing. Okay, so the numbers we want to put in here are the six digits, the serial number plus a zero at the front if you have a five number serial number. So zero is the right number for the start of this. For each one of these, you press the battery button, and it'll move on to the next one. Okay, now we're going to take that up here to nine, the next one would be four, the next one here is nine, the next one is two, two, and zero, okay? Now this flashes the model of the fridge. Now there's different models. This one's a 50 liter fridge, so we're okay here, but if you needed to change it to any of the other dual zone models, you can run up and down the scale and choose which model it is. So we're gonna stay here with the 50 liter model. Hit the battery button again. It comes with, up with all eights. Shows our model and the firmware number on here. And now it is set to, to run. Now what you can also do is, we, um, it is set currently at Celsius. If you hold the up and down over here, it'll swap it over to Fahrenheit. Or you can swap it back to Celsius if you choose to. Okay, now what we can do is, now that we have this in, we can take our phone and let's go out here. And what we've got is the National Luna Connect um, model here. If I can uh, connect with this fridge, we've got several models uh, connected in, in the showroom here. 
but it's going to come up here connecting to device. Enter pin. Okay? 094920. Enter. Interesting. 94920. Okay, so I put in the, the pin, which is the uh, serial number on there. I've added the zero the first time and it says, oh, that's the wrong pin. So you just put in the five digits for the for the pin, the serial number. So now what it's showing me here is that we've got the fridge, the left side's at 18 Celsius, the right is at 15 Celsius, and it has uh, its connections here and it is running. Up here, we can change the units to Fahrenheit and it changes over on the fridge. Now I can run all of this uh, fridge controls. I can touch on here and I can move the scale up if I want to change the temperature, I can move it up or down, and you can see it on the on the fridge as well, right? So I'm going to leave that at 36 degrees Fahrenheit. This side over here is set at 32. I want to have that. Now oh, that's the small one. Let's put that down. I want to have that at 20 degrees Fahrenheit as a freezer. Okay, I'm going to hit OK. Now it's set. Now it's going to run and go to those temperatures in Fahrenheit. It's a wonderful little option to have on there. Um, also, if you want to, let's say, oh boy, I've decided I don't want that side to be uh, a freezer. You know what, I'm not even going to use that side. I can hit it up here and I take it to the top of the scale for it. And what it'll do is it'll eventually go to off. What I have now done is I have shut down one zone in the fridge, leaving the other zone to run. Uh, which is a nice uh, functionality uh, option on this new display. If I want to, well, wait a minute, I want this back as a fridge. So I can take this down and I put it down here. 36 is a good number. Let's do that. Okay, so that's the functionality of it. So we've shown you how to replace the display, how to uh, set the pin on the new display, and also showed you the functionality of the fridge control based off of the National Luna Connect app. I think it's a wonderful uh, retrofit application for the folks out there that have National Luna fridges. Uh, it was easy enough to do. We did it in a couple minutes. I think you'll really like this option. If you have any questions at all, please reach out to us at Equipped Expedition Outfitters. I'm Paul. Thanks for your time.